Hi. All right, so I'm gonna talk about Isaac. And um, in Genesis 26, uh, it talks about how there was a, another famine. Remember when Abraham and his family, they had to deal with um, a drought and it wasn't just a regular drought. I mean, they animals were dying because they didn't have enough water. Plants weren't living. They didn't have enough um, grain to make, to make bread. So people were even dying. So it came to a time when um, Isaac had to do the same thing. He had to leave. And so he went to um, Gerir. Now Gerir um, was a place that actually Abraham used to live and his people made a well. well remember, um, wells were very important because where do you get a, what is a well? A well is where you get water. You need water to take care of your cattle and take care of your sheep. Well, Isaac became very rich. Um, and the way he became really rich was he had lots of cattle, lots of sheep, lots of goats, lots of servants. Well, all those things I just told you drink a lot of water and they eat a lot of land right? Well, the Philistines who live in that neighborhood, they did not like Isaac and all of his servants and all of his cattle and all of his sheep and all of his goats. And they, um, they weren't very happy with them. So, um, but Isaac said, hey, to his servants, there's, there's a well over here. And my father dug that up with his servants. And if you just find that well and you dig it up, we will find water. Because you can't just dig up a hole and just hope to get water. There's certain areas that you get water. You have to find where a little stream is under the ground and um, where spring is. And then there'll be constantly water there. Um, and you have to be very particular. So he already knew that Abraham, his dad, already found it. But, but the Philistines filled it up. They, they thought if, if uh, there's no water, there's no well, then they can't keep their cattle here. Well, Isaac said, hey, I got lots of servants. You guys can work. So they dug and they dug and they dug. And they didn't have like a big drill like we do. And drills all the way down into the ground. No. They had to use themselves with buckets and, and pulley systems and, and they dug it up and took hours and days. Finally, they found the water. They were like, yay, we found water. We can feed our cattle and we can feed our sheep, feed our goats, feed our families. Oh, this is so wonderful. We're so glad. Thank you, God. Uh-oh, then the Philistines came and they said, that's our water. That's our well. That belongs to us. Well, back then, if you dug a well, it belongs to you because you did all the work. Then that area belongs to you. And Isaac said, Isaac's servant said, no, man, we, we dug this well. It's, it's ours. This is our land where we are around here. And the Philistines were angry and Isaac said, okay, wait, wait, wait. I want to have peace. We'll just go. We'll go find another well. We'll go to another area. So he took all of his servants, all of his cattle. How do you think those servants felt when they did all that work and they dug that well? How do you think they felt? Do you think they wanted to fight for that land? They did. But they obeyed Isaac and they went to another place. So they came into another area and this is where Abraham's old well was and it was filled up and they, and Isaac said, okay, dig it up, dig it up. We can do this. And they did and they dug it up some more and they dug it up some more and sure enough, they got water and they're like, yay, yeah, this is great. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. And then, um, the king the Philistines came with a soldier and he said 
Nope. We don't want two here. Got too much. Nope. But we this is our land. You can't have this land. So um, his servants were angry again, but Isaac wanted to keep the peace. And he was like, you know what? We've got to find a place that that we're not going to be fighting the whole time. And we do have a lot of cattle and goats and sheep that we need to take care of. So they left again. They left again. So the third time they came to another well and they dug it up 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 and they, it up and they finally found water. They're like, yeah, we found water. Now, they're probably thinking in the back of their mind, is somebody going to take this and make us, you know, they've done all this work. They dug up the well. Then they get to say, oh, now it's ours. And now, it, now we get to keep it. And now the work was done for them, right? Well, finally, God blessed them. And Isaac, nobody said, you can't live in this area. So they finally found an area that was a good place for them. That was peaceful. They didn't have to fight over this land. And their cattle, their sheep, their goats, all the servants could be in that land and be there peacefully. And, you know, God looked at Isaac and he said, I'm very pleased with you. You chose not to fight those Philistines. You chose not to fight. You kept on going till you found a place that was good for you. And he said, I'm going to bless you. Just like what I told you, told your father, Abraham, you're going to have many children. You're going to have very many cattle, very many sheep, and very many animals. And you will be taken care of. I will take care of you. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. Well, what a blessing Isaac had from the Lord. And you know, who do we think of that gives us great peace that came to this world and gave us so much peace and love? Jesus. That's right. Jesus came and he wanted peace from all the people. And he rode on the donkey to show that he is the king of peace. Right? And how did he give us peace? He died on the cross for us. So we can go to heaven and be with his, his father and be with him. Right? How amazing is that? We're so thankful for Jesus. We're so thankful that for the story for Isaac and how he really lived his life for God. And God was pleased with him. All right, let's put our hands up. One hand up, put the other hand up, put it together and let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for Isaac and for giving Isaac wisdom and knowing how to handle um, when his neighbors were not happy with him. Lord, I thank you for his servants, actually, for for them being obedient to him and being obedient to God. And Lord, I ask you to help us to remember to be to remember to be kind to our friends and our families and our brothers and sisters and our moms and dads. When we are angry about something or when somebody is angry with us, that we will be kind to them. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye.